In this video, we're going to discuss how to account for an equity method investment when you're preparing the statement of cash flows. So if you remember, an equity method investment is when your firm owns between 20 and 50% of another company's equity. Right? So you own, let's say, 30% of the stock in another firm, and we say that that's an equity method investment. Okay. Now, this is going to pre uh, present some unique challenges for the statement of cash flows, because if you remember, with the equity method investment, you're going to recognize a proportionate share of the investee's net income. So if you own 30% of that company, then your company is going to recognize 30% of that company's net income or net loss, right? And then that's going to be added to your company's net income or loss. Now, dividend revenue is not going to be revenue. It's not going to affect net income at all. Actually, dividends received by you from that company in which you have a 30% investment, uh, they're not going to affect net income because they're going to reduce the carrying value of your investment. If, if this is all new to you, I, I recommend you check out the video I have on equity method investments. But that's just a quick recap. So we're going to have to do two things when we're putting together a statement of cash flows. First, we're going to have to subtract the proportionate share of net income in that in, from that investee. right? So this is the company that you've invested in. You recognize a proportionate share of their net income, but you didn't actually get cash for it. Right? You just say, okay, well, 30% of their net income, we're going to add that to our net income, but it doesn't mean you got any cash from that investee. Okay? So we're going to back that out when we're doing the operating section of the statement of cash flows. Okay? Now, if it's a loss, if that company had a net loss, then you would have taken a proportionate share of their net loss. And so we're going to add that. So we're going to add the proportionate share of their net loss or subtract proportionate share of their net income and then if they issued any dividends we're going to add that to the cash flow from operations your proportionate share that is so 30 percent of whatever dividends they issued because remember with the equity method dividends are not revenue so it wasn't included in net income it's not like you had dividend revenue even though you received dividends okay so if you do get any dividends they need to be added to the cash flow from operations section. Let me show you some examples that will make it easier for you to understand. Let's say that your company owns 30% of another company called Happy Food. Okay, and so Happy Food has a net loss for the year of $200,000 and they don't issue any dividends. So all we've got going on here is the net loss. And so we're going to say, okay, 200000 times 30% that's going to be sixty thousand dollars. So that's your share. That's your your company's share of the loss. Okay. Now, remember, I'm not talking about a statement of cash flow for Happy Food. I'm talking about preparing a statement of cash flow for your firm. You're recognizing sixty thousand dollars of Happy Food's net loss, right? So that's going to that's going to decrease your net income for your company. So when we get the cash flow from operations section of, of your statement of cash flow, uh, we got our net income that we start with, and then we make the adjustments to net income. So we're going to add back that loss. Okay, so we're going to have that loss. It's going to be added. So it's going to increase cash flow from operations. It's going to be added because it made our net in it made your firm's net income lower but it didn't have anything to do with cash, right? You didn't even receive a dividend from Happy Food, okay? Now, let me show you an example where you, the investee doesn't have a loss, but they actually have positive net income and there are some dividends, okay? So let's say that you own, your firm owns 40% of another company called SnapTweet, okay? And SnapTweet has net income, so they don't have a loss. This is different than the example before. They have net income of $500,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 500,000 and we're going to multiply it by 40% and that's going to give us $200,000. And that is the amount, this is your share of net income. So you recognize this for financial reporting purposes for your income statement, your net income was higher by $200,000 for your firm because of the investment in SnapTweet. Okay? But that doesn't have, just this proportionate share has nothing to do with cash. The dividends have to do with cash. We're going to deal with that in a minute. So this 200000 this 200000 if we look at, here's our section of, our operating section. We're going to have this um, 
with well, a share of I'm going to call it share of net income that's going to be subtracted so we're going to I'm going to put in parentheses that means it's being deducted so $200,000 is going to be deducted why because your firm's net income was $200,000 higher because we added in 40% of snap snap tweets net income but that had nothing to do with cash what does have to do with cash SnapTweet issued $100,000 in dividends. Now this is the total dividends issued by SnapTweet, so we have to take 40% of that, okay? If you're working in an accounting problem for a class you're in, be careful. If the instructor says, look, your firm actually received 100,000 in cash, then you don't have to multiply by 40%. But in this case, I'm telling you, that's the total dividends issued by SnapTweet. So you're gonna get, uh, it's gonna be 100,000, 100,000 times 40%, is going to tell you how much in dividends your firm received so it's forty thousand dollars so we're going to add that we're going to add that now that might be confusing to you because you think hey wait a minute i thought we deal with dividends in the the uh, cash flow from financing activities but that's dividends paid out okay that's dividends paid out that's something different with an equity method investment this is all going to be in the operating section cash flow from operating activities that's what CFO stands for okay so we're gonna add this forty thousand dollars so we're saying look when we recognize the share of net income for snap tweet uh, that didn't have anything to do with cash so we got to subtract that but we did give forty thousand dollars worth of cash dividends from snap tweet and so we're gonna add that so and then you could also just do that the net amount so which in, in, in practice most firms would have just the net amount so they would say like net effect from equity method investments or something. In this case, because we have negative 200 or a cash outflow of 200,000 or a decrease of 200,000 and then increase of 40,000 in terms of adjustments to cash flow from operating activities, the net effect of this equity method investment is there's gonna be a decrease in adjustment downward to cash flow from operations of $160,000.